Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a transfer case pump slap repair on a 2007 Chevy Duramax diesel. It's a known problem with these transfer cases. A little spring clip in there that gives up, breaks, whatever, and the pump starts slapping, wears a hole in the magnesium case, lose all your fluid, and your transfer case explodes. So we're going to do this repair before that happens. So I bought this from Merchant Automotive, which I've bought several things from them. They specialize in GM and Duramax and everything else, so good place to go get things. All right, well, let's get started. We'll see how this goes. Like, subscribe, share, comment below. Let me know what you think of the video. All right, let's go. So here's everything you're going to need to do this job. Ordered this kit from Merchant Automotive directly from them. You can also buy it off Amazon or whatever. It comes with everything. Fluid, new drain plugs with magnets, and the new housing, gasket, sealer, and everything needed. Also comes with a little tube of blue Loctite, which I'm actually going to put that in my travel bag. Be handy to have around, because I'm just going to use my open bottle of blue Loctite. A pair of channel locks, some snap ring pliers, 15 millimeter socket. 10 millimeter socket, T15 Torx, 18 millimeter wrench, and a 19 millimeter wrench. Should be all that we need to do this. And a long screwdriver. I also have a putty knife over there to help clean up the old uh, material when we split the case in half. And I also have some Scotch Brite red that we'll use to clean up the case with. Once we get it split, we'll go over all that. All right, let's get this transfer case out of the truck now. So, a couple things here. This wire is connected into the transfer case and attached to the bracket on the transfer case. So the best is just to unplug this. This gray piece here is a lock, which would be down normally. You need to open it up like I did, put a screwdriver in there, pop it up, open it up so you can push on this tab. Right now you can't push on that tab. To release the plug so you can get this plug out. So you're going to take this plug out and the other biggie, you got this vent tube that is plastic and it goes right up here in the top of the transfer case. The best thing to do is I just use my short, widest flat bladed screwdriver underneath this edge here and pry up on it and be careful because this is plastic, you'll end up breaking it. That was my concern was I didn't want to break this vent tube connector. Another so thing is this non-reusable clamp that holds the uh, boot. Your front drive shaft to cover your spline. There's one on each side of the boot. I took this one off of the transfer case side, left the boot on the drive shaft. I just pried up on it right here and it popped across this locking tab. So then you're going to need something, one of these clamps. So I got my replacement clamps and I ordered two. So I'll have a spare and I'll put a link below. Pull this rubber plug out. Just remove, remove your uh, fill and drain plugs. I already did because I drained it while I was in the truck. So take a 10 millimeter socket and pull all the case bolts out. So all of them are 10 millimeter except the one over here for this bracket and it has a stud. That's actually a 15 millimeter socket. Okay, so we got everything out, but it's not over here on the stud. And then we have this last stud left that has these uh, 13 millimeter socket. Get this nut off. That's because that was the nut to hold that bracket on, not the stud. And yeah, that stud was 15 millimeter. Still got to get the stud out. Now, we have to deal with the snap ring. So there's a snap ring in here on this bearing. It's not your standard snap ring that has holes in it, where you use the snap ring pliers that has the little 
pins on it. It's just got a flat face. So you have to have these special ones. Spread that out. I'm just putting slight pressure on the tone ring here to try to... There it goes. It moved. Kind of heard it groan there. It moved. Snap ring's not lined up with the uh, groove and the bearing anymore, so now the housing will come off. So it's got dowel pins. But you have to get it off those dowel pins. There are price pots. <clears throat> Place to put your screwdriver. There we go, both dowel pins free. And the housing comes right off. That's it. See down in there? That's that snap ring. So it stays in the housing, unless you want to take it out. It sits in a groove in there. So when we put this all back together, we have to open that snap ring up again and push it up on that to get the snap ring to lock back into this bearing. And the snap ring on here holding the bearing on, that has to come off. Then our bearing's next. And make sure the bearing goes back on the same way. Snap ring groove needs to face rear drive shaft spline. It needs to face the rear. Then the tone ring comes off. And it can only go on one way. There's a step. Goes towards the pump. What I do, I take everything off, I stack it. Just how it came off. So you just reverse that stack when you put it back on. Now the pump has this hose going into it. And there's an O-ring in there you do not want to lose. So you get pull this out. Pull your pump out. So there's no ring in there, don't lose that O-ring. So it's our new pump housing. Seal it to put the case back together. And they give you a little thing of blue Loctite in here, which I'm not gonna be using it because I have a, a blue Loctite already open. And your blue Loctite is for these screws here. You don't wanna clean them up with something, brake clean or something. Lacquer thinner work. Something to get the oil residue off so your Loctite actually works. Okay, so this is the half of the housing that we don't need anymore. orientation here so we need this gear it's got oil suction on it I don't want to come out there it comes out so that's the part we're doing away with that in there that goes in there this goes back on top
Lining our holes up, same orientation as they were. Now I gotta clean these screws off yet. Brake clean. And brake clean's got some blasting power. There's a magnet in here underneath the pump pickup that you want to discard that. You no longer want that in there. So you're doing the uh, magnet on your drain plug. That pocket all cleaned out real good. We need to get the surface all cleaned off. Old silicone up inside of everything. It'll be all over our rag only. We need to get all that off. Use a scotch bright pad. Red scotch bright pad here. I just cut that off of one of those, the big sheets the way it comes. Amazing how the scotch bright it's not wore out like when you use it on scuffing paint or anything like that. Where it actually wears down and doesn't really want to do anything anymore. With this, it's filling up with a silicone. Where it's just slippery and doesn't do anything anymore. It's a lot different. All right, got that surface all clean. Now we gotta do the tailpiece housing. Get it all cleaned up. All right, I'm gonna get my screws put in. Just gonna put a dab on each one of these. bit is magnetized. Be careful these screws, they want to uh, cross thread really bad. Be careful running them in. Move around and snug them all up. Pump's ready to go back in. It's the last thing to come out, right? So it's the first thing to go back in. Oh, ring still in there. The spring thing here. A lot of times that'll already be gone. Broken. That needs to come out. That was the part of the poor design. About the only thing we have to worry about here is I don't want to get anything in this needle bearing, roller bearing, needle bearing. So we're going to shove a rag inside of it while we clean this housing. Pull these pins out. Make it easier to clean. We'll put them back in. Just remember they're straight across. All right, that one's all done. I'm gonna spray this out with brake clean. Spray it all off brake clean. Let's put alignment pins back in. All right, get the pump, pump back in. Spin around so the hose lines up. Make sure you get that seated all the way in. It's got two steps to it. Just make sure you look at how it was before you took it out and it goes back in the same. That's all you gotta do. Toe ring, again, it has that step. Make sure you get that step inside of the pump where it was before. Put our bearing back on. Put my glove in there. <laughs> Just enough extra, not enough clearance. Okay, so you want to get the snap ring in your little dimples there. So it's less likely to go flying off. Screwdriver and tap it in.
Make sure it's in the groove. TV 4500. Silicone sealant, yep. Use your cap, puncture it. This is the gray. Trim your nozzle to do a desired bead. A well, small bead on this. Don't need a lot. Don't want it getting inside the housing either or inside of the T case. So just going to go around and run us a nice bead. I like so. Make sure you got a nice bead all the way around. No gaps. No thin spots. There we go. Looks like I need two people do this. Hmm. Dog pin pushed out. My alignment pin. That's part of the problem right there. I had pushed down out. Not lining me up. I didn't realize that's what I had going on was my that alignment pin, the one down here, I needed to lift up because the weight of the shaft was holding it down and it pushed all the way back so it never lined up. Now it's going together. We're gonna get behind the tone ring and push the shaft that way when I open up the snap ring. And the shaft moves, it floats in there. So the snap ring's in the groove on the bearing. I'll wiggle it back and forth to make sure. There, just heard it click. That's all good. Put all the bolts back in it and um, we're done. Put this rubber plug back in. Put my sensor back in. So I don't get any dirt down in there. Nineteen millimeter. You can torque all of these 27 foot pounds. Torque wrench set. Let's go ahead and put that back on. It's got two new plugs here. Came with the kit. It's your fill plug, it's your drain plug. That's magnetic. That goes in the bottom. That's your drain plug. That's your new magnet. And the advantage of this is you can clean that anytime you change the fluid. With a magnet inside of the case, you can never do anything with it. It's just going to build up. 
So fill, we're gonna leave that loose because we have to fill. Once we get it all back in there, 18 millimeters, your plugs, magnesium case, don't over tighten it, just snug. You will break the case. Okay, so I went back and watched that part of the video. It shows this bracket. It's right there. It's good. All right, we're all done. Put it back in. So now we have this transfer case to transmission new gasket. I gotta clean all that gasket material off next. And then we can put it back in. So this came with the kit too. So if y'all are doing this, you know where the fill plug is. And this cross member up in there. So I have this set up that I've used before. It actually, the yellow part turns so it opens and closes. But they send you a two quart container. Who thought this was a good idea? Seriously. Other than that, everything has gone okay. So what I came up with is what we're getting ready to do. Instead of dumping one of those, like I said, they're around $13, $15 now for that pulse in. I took the top off of it, put it on a quart oil container that I had in the trash, spray painted it. I'm on right on there, save, whatever, just so I always keep it on the shelf. Because that screws right on there from that gear oil. Which, once I empty one of these again, I'm probably going to rinse it out and keep it. I can have both. So I went out and bought some hose from Lowe's. Got quarter inch ID, three eighths OD, three eighths ID, half inch OD. I'm going to go with the three eighths ID because it slips up on there further. Now one thing to remember though is this is tapered. So it's not really going to want to just stay on there. So it's kind of it's still going to be kind of a two-handed thing. Hold on to the hose and this at the same time. So you don't push the hose off and make another mess. But anyway, I look at it. This is better than the two-quart setup. Okay, so that's it for putting in the Merchant Automotive Pump Slap Repair Kit for the transfer case on my 07 Duramax diesel four-wheel drive here. Everything went along pretty good, actually. I mean... All right, well, that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helps you out if you're going to do this. All right, take care, everyone. Appreciate y'all. Peace out.